questions, for reflection. The Holy Spirit speaking through the prophet Jeremiah reminds the chosen people that he will fulfill his promise of happiness. He promises to send an upright branch of David, and he does. Jesus Christ, his son, the promised Messiah, is that upright branch. He is the way to true happiness for all God's people who call upon him. We are God's people now, reborn in the waters of baptism and grafted into him the branch, the vine, Jesus, through which we receive all that will make us happy. Do we believe that God wants to make us happy? Do we see our practice of the Catholic Christian faith as an imposition or an invitation to happiness? The Apostle Paul writes to the early Christians in his letter to the Thessalonians, exhorting them to live in the way that pleases God. That is meant to apply to us as well. Before they were called Christians, which occurred first in Antioch, the followers of Jesus were called the way. Christianity is a way of living. It is meant to transform every part of our life and engage the whole person, body, soul, and spirit. Do we live our Christian vocation that way? The end of the world as we know it, the second coming of Christ and the final judgment is a revealed doctrine of the Bible and the clear doctrine and teaching of the church. The Catholic Catechism explains, though already present in his church, Christ's reign is nevertheless yet to be fulfilled with power and great glory by the King's return to earth. This reign is still under attack by the evil powers, even though they have been defeated definitively by Christ's Passover. The Catechism continues, until everything is subject to him, until there be realized new heavens and a new earth in which justice dwells, the pilgrim church in her sacraments and institutions, which belong to this present age, carries the mark of this world which will pass. And she herself takes her place among the creatures which groan and travail yet and await the revelation of the sons of God. That is why Christians pray above all in the Eucharist to hasten Christ's return by saying to him, Maranatha, our Lord, come. Do we believe this? Do we pray for his return?